Yeah, definitely not going outside. I just needed to pee and now I'm stuck. My friend's truck this morning won't start. This video contains the most unfortunate things that have ever happened to me simultaneously. I don't know what was happening this week. I don't know what juju was in the air, but this was not my day by any means. I'm not trying to spoil anything, but I hope that you guys enjoy my misfortune because Lord knows I didn't. But we're gonna start this video going to my campsite. This road is a little rough, but it's not too bad. With the rocking back and forth motion, I've already had to go into the back twice to go fix things that have fallen out of my cabinets. Okay, I found a hill that I'm gonna try to go up. It looks very steep, but also there's, it looks like there's a cool campsite up there. So, only thing I can do is try. Big bump, big bump. Ah, okay, we made it. <laughs> that was a little stressful. Getting up this part was the most challenging because all these ruts. That was a lot harder than I expected, but we got it done. My campsite has an awesome view. I'm a little lopsided, so I'm gonna have to put some blocks under my truck. And like that, we're level. I'm not gonna have the blood rushing to my head tonight. That's the worst. Peaches, where'd she go, shit. Peaches! I swear that girl is gonna give me a heart attack one of these days. Well, apparently Arizona wants me to leave because there is a nasty storm rolling in right now. Wow, this shot really shows you guys just how much, oh, that was lightning. Yeah, definitely not going outside for a hot minute. Look, they're all just bouncing off the ground. It's been maybe 10 minutes since I said that there was the hail. We're finally getting some sunlight. I'm excited because my solar needs to be charged, of course. Go figure, that's every video of mine. So right now I'm getting one amp, which is actually quite horrible. Oh my gosh. Look at this, it almost looks like the ice that you get in Chick-fil-A. Cups, <laughs> like almost. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. I just hiked all the way from down there to get a better view of these mountains, not even realizing what was behind this hill that I'm on. Look at this, wow. <laughs> that is so incredibly beautiful. Say hi to grandma and grandpa, hi. I just looked out my window and it is like such a gorgeous sunset I had to come show you guys. But look at the mountains as well. That also adds a cool dynamic. Also, I'm not gonna edit this footage whatsoever. So this, this is like actually what it looks like. But yeah, I gotta say, not the worst camp or view from up here. I'm really happy with this spot. The rough drive was definitely worth it. I can't hold the camera still. Hi friends, good morning. It's freaking freezing. I'm sure you could have guessed that. Um, I think it's like in the 30s this morning. I made myself some yummy coffee. Also, another weird thing that happened last night is I do not remember falling asleep at all. I, I don't know if I was like abducted by aliens or something. I literally don't remember falling asleep. I'm trying to keep my propane down. Well, it's not down right now, it's at 80 degrees. But at nighttime, I keep it at 65, just to try to be a little bit more sparing because I've been using it so fast. I go through one tank, maybe in like two, two and a half days. Filling up two tanks is about 40 bucks. So that's like $80 a week if I like really go through it quick. So I'm trying to cut back. I have a propane addiction right now. <laughs> my friend's truck this morning uh, won't start. I think his battery died because it was cold or I don't know, it just died for some reason. Hopefully that won't take too long because I got to get to a doctor's appointment this morning. All I know is I can't feel my fingers right now. I've been helping him start his car. <laughs> I'm rubbing my engine to give him a little bit more juice. Come on, you got it. After about a half hour, we finally got his truck up and running, so we're gonna head out. I'm not looking forward to going back down this hill, but it'll be a process. Oh, I'm stressing right now. I feel like every video I do, something horrible happens. I'm driving down the highway, I needed to pee really bad, so I pulled over, and then I got myself stuck. Just just look at this, it's pretty horrible. Yep, that's me. Just stuck on the side of the fucking highway with my tire completely buried. Also, my steps are just like on the ground. 
I'm gonna have to unbury myself, like dig it out. You guys might be thinking like, why the hell did you pull off on sand? But I see all these other tire tracks in here, so I'm like, okay, clearly this is a shoulder on the side of the highway people pull over. And I meant to stay more on the gravel, but as I was driving, I kind of like slipped over into the sand and then tried getting out and now I'm stuck. So that's kind of how that really transpired. I'm stressing because I have a doctor's appointment to get to. I don't know what I was thinking. It was so stupid. I just needed to pee. That's it. And now I'm stuck. Uh, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig. That's all I can do. I'm stressing. I have a friend coming. I called him. He's going to try to tow me out. He's a half hour away. But oh boy. Like the whole bottom of my truck on the back is flush with the ground. That makes me scared. My freaking exhaust pipe's right here, like underground. I know everyone that drives by right now is probably like, look at that freaking idiot. Oh. Once again, all I needed to do was pay. I'm trying not to freak out. I know it's not that big of an issue if I can get out. But oh boy. Is it hard to try not to freak out when your whole entire home is stuck? and can't move. I remember in my last video when something bad happened, someone was like, Ethan, why are you doing all this to yourself as if I do this on purpose? So please don't leave any of those comments. This was not purposeful. Trust me. Here are the tires after I spent a half hour digging them out. Good to go. I'm so stressed. Oh, oh, good, keep going. Okay, we, we did move a little bit. My camera died while I was actually being towed out of this hole, so I didn't get that on footage, but I got my reaction on footage from inside the truck. Oh, 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 I'm out. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. Oh, God bless. I think what really helped is he had some traction boards to stick under my tires, and that it was able to give me some traction as you can see they're covered now i'm about to do a double whammy chore at the circle k you better not be fucking honking at me i can tell you that much i'm about to throw away my trash here because it's filling up i actually don't have any more room whatsoever uh i have some of my truck right here actually because inside it's getting too full i'm about to buy about a hundred dollars worth of gas so i don't feel that guilty about it and i got two trash cans right here Smooth criminal. Okay, it's not going in, it's not so smooth. Hi friends. So, my doctor's appointment went well, that's good news. You guys don't even know what my doctor's appointment was about, but I wanna share with you because a lot of you guys seem to enjoy when I tell you guys things about my life. If you don't care, skip to this point. So if you didn't know, I suffer from anxiety, woo woo. Okay, a lot of people do, it's nothing special. But with that said, it manifests in my body in a lot of different ways. And one of the ways is in my heart. That's what I just had a doctor's appointment for. Long story short, I get these like weird symptoms, like heart palpitations and stuff. The doctor looked at it. I had to hold, I had a heart monitor for a week. I got an ECG, uh, EKG, everything. I got the works done, and everything's good. We're Gucci. It's just anxiety. I don't have a heart problem, so that's nice. Cause the doctor was kind of scaring me. He was like, well. Like the, the way you're describing your symptoms, like you could have a heart defect. I'm like, great, great. That's the fucking last thing I need right now. But no, no heart defect, yay. I felt like sharing that with you guys because you guys like whenever I'm kind of raw with you. And then also on top of that, I know just statistically out of the 70,000 people that subscribe to me, one of you guys deals with this as well. If you got some health anxiety or just anxiety working in general, you're not alone and I'm here with you. Okay, next thing, after being knee deep and fingers deep and wrist deep in dirt, I want to take a shower because digging out my truck earlier was just not a pleasant experience. Good thing I'm at a planet fit. Oh, I can't get it up. Oh my gosh, I can't get it. Clearly I need to wash my windows. Okay, give me a second. A planet fitness. Thank you. I really hope this is one of the Planet Fitnesses with a nice shower, not like the curtain that keeps like slipping because I really don't feel like giving anyone a show today. I'm just excited for a nice warm shower after today. Gotta get my shower shoes. These bad boys. It's concerning the amount of people that I see in the locker room not wearing shoes and just raw dog in the floor with their feet. These are a must have unless you want your feet to literally fall off. And this is the final look 
walking into the gym. Gorgeous, I know. All right, I'm coming up on a campsite that I think should work for tonight, but I'm honestly not completely sure. I'm camping in the city and I'm tired of staying at a Cracker Barrel. I think they're getting tired of me staying there too, because I've been staying at the same one over and over and over. There's a public park here that I saw online apparently allows street parking. And it looks like that's right, because there are a bunch of other campers here. And then look at this park, it's pretty sick. It's for like rock climbing and stuff, so there's just a bunch of big, mountains and then also there's a dog park too for beaches so i mean it really works perfectly i get to park dog park and then also just cool hiking this is where i am specifically in the city so i'm like smack dab in the middle of phoenix this is going to be my home for tonight it looks like a generally safe area i'd have to say these houses not that you can really judge by the houses but that looks like a nice house I don't really know if they want me camping in front of their house, but that's okay. Thankfully, there is a bike lane separating me from the actual road itself. We're also near an airport, apparently. That'd be great for sleeping. It's getting cold and getting dark, as you can see. Doesn't look like we're gonna have much of a cool sunset tonight, but that's fine. Let's check the inside and see if anything spilled. I see my LED lights turned on, they're blinking. And my dish is on the floor, but that's okay. And my flower was apparently assaulted by my bananas. What the heck? I hardly ever city camp besides at Cracker Barrel, as you guys know. The thing about Cracker Barrel is that I always call before to make sure I can stay there. Here, I'm kind of just winging it. I don't really know if it's allowed. I see other campers online that says that you can, and there's also no sign saying that you can't. So, with that said, I will be staying here. The worst thing that can happen is that someone comes knocking on my door in the middle of the night saying I have to leave, which would be unfortunate, but... If that's what I gotta do, I'll do it. I'm kinda desperate for a camp spot tonight because I'm not near any other good spots right now. I'm gonna lock down the hatches because I don't really want it to look obvious that I'm in here, even though it is a camper, like clearly someone's in here, but I wanna make myself at the least visible possible. So I popped my head out because I was just watching the airplanes fly by because apparently they come by every three minutes. I'm not kidding. But then I noticed over here in the park, look at how many rabbits, if it'll focus. There you go. Look at how many rabbits, wait. So there's one, two, three, four, five, right there. And then there's a bunch more in the shade. You really can't see them. But then also in the dog park, there's some. You can see like that little dot right there. That's a rabbit. And then there's another one. There's just a bunch in the dog park as well, which I found really interesting. And then it got me thinking, are they staying here because it's like void of natural predators since it's a park? I don't know. Last night was surprisingly nice. I didn't get told to leave, so that's good. And then also it was quite quiet. I thought being near the road, it'd be really loud, but it's really not that bad. Now that I know that this place is here, I'll be staying here more often if I'm in Phoenix. Uh, but also I'm leaving Phoenix very soon, so kind of sucks that I just found it now. I've been here for three months. What's up? I didn't see you there. This is the end of the video. I don't really know what was going on this day. As I said in the intro, I think there was just some bad juju going on. I'm, I really don't know. But this day was stressful, pretty awful. It had a gorgeous sunset the night before, so I appreciate that. But I don't really know if it makes up for all the other bad things. But you know what? Bad things happen sometimes. It is what it is. And I learned from it. Don't drive into sand. Don't be an idiot. Yay, okay? Valuable lessons learned on my channel. I'm educational. With all that being said, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Doing all those are free ways that you can help my channel. Like seriously, it's the best way that you can help a YouTuber's channel is by giving likes, comments, and subscribing. I've actually seen a huge uptick in my channel's performance since asking you guys to do this, so thank you guys so much for helping me out. I really appreciate it, and it's free, so thank you. On top of that, if you guys want to check out my other social medias, I have OnlyFans. Link in, I can't speak. Link for that will be in the description. 
cool. I also have Instagram. That link will also be in the description. I post on there almost daily if you want to see my daily life. And then lastly, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world, but mostly the US for now, have to offer. Uh, I do have some cool plans in the future though, so maybe I'll be going to another country. It's in the works, I don't know. And an extra special thank you goes to Gary Fuller, Gregory Dyer, Indigo Going, Robert Swan, Scott Krutz, Brian Butterfield, Michael Posh, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. But once again, thank you guys so very much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. If you would like to join, all the information is in the description along with other ways that you can support the channel if you would like. And then lastly, I know I have so many announcements. Before I officially go, I want to give a shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. I've been working alongside them for a while now. And by that, I just mean kind of shouting them out. We've raised over four grand now at this point, which is insane. I think that this is a great cause to support because they train your immune system to fight cancer at its source, which I think is amazing. Uh, who wants to do all of those terrible drugs if you don't need to? So I just think it's a great cause to support. So if you want to send over $1, $2, five bucks, I'll leave that link in the description as well. I, I haven't mentioned this in the past few videos, but I want to mention it every once in a while. The reason I'm shouting this out is because my best friend Millie passed away due to cancer at the beginning of this year. I get questions about her all the time, people asking if I got rid of her and stuff. No, she passed away unfortunately. Uh, so that's why I am specifically picking a cancer cause because it hits close to home. But yeah, so if you guys want to support that, I would greatly appreciate it. But I think that that's all that I have to say. Wish me luck editing this video. And yeah, <laughs> peace out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Hopefully it is not as traumatizing. Okay, love you, bye. Take care.